Hi Virgo, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. This is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of February 2020. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please make sure that you sub subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be notified. And please note this as well as a warning. A lot of readers are warning their uh, viewers to subscribe and hit the bell because YouTube is changing from the old system to the new system. And I don't think personally that um, the old system, some uh, memberships can be carried over to the new system. I've lost a hundred viewers and uh, it is not very nice when you lose your viewers. I call them my cyber angels and I do miss every angel. We have a brilliant, brilliant evening uh, family, a cyber family, and they all make this channel work the way it is. It is a, a, a beautiful channel and I'm grateful to all my cyber angels to uh, take part and give their love and positive energy. I'm really blessed with all these people. And um, of course, new uh, members are welcome to join. And we will, we, you're not alone. Just remember that you're not alone. Um, you will be part of the family and we have a listening ear. We do help everybody. Now, if you would like to have a question answered, you can come into the live and do a super chat or super stickers. And I will give you three cards plus an oracle card. And of course, my intuitive talents. Um, if you wish an, uh, uh, an extended reading, then please go to my website. In the right hand corner, you'll see a little eye and that, click on the little eye, the white dot, and it will open up and take you straight through to the website, charliesangel.com. And uh, that is it. And I welcome you, everybody. And thank you very much for my cyber angels to come back. Please keep on hitting that bell. And Virgo was a great success last week. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, you've only you only got swords. I, I thought, shall I change it? And then I thought, no, I'll put it out the way it comes. There is a message in here. So, you know, let's see what the story tells this week. And I hope you did have a beautiful Valentine, by the way. And here we go. First of all, you have the Five of Swords. And this deck is totally dedicated to women and femininity because we all have masculine and feminine. So whether you're a man or a woman, this is this deck represents the feminine side. OK, so take care of yourself, nurture yourself and love yourself. But coming back to the card, the five of swords means sadness, means arguments, means disagreement, means war. So forewarned is forearmed, and that is on the 17th of February. Be careful on Monday what you do or what you say and how you say it. Watch that intonation. <clears throat> you can ca uh, catch more flies with sweet talk than, or honey than with vinegar. So that is what the saying means. Be sweet. Be gentle. Be understanding, having a listening ear. You don't have to agree with somebody, but if they don't give them ammunition to start an argument, walk away and forget the sadness. Forget that, you know, don't forget that you might be the one that ends up hurt. So walk away and wait for another day when everything is settled and when everybody is neutral in mood so that they can talk about it and you can talk about it. When you're ready to talk about it, then start communicating. The um, You've got review and reflection. Time out is needed. Well, I didn't know that card that was saying on that card because the print is very small. But like I said, walk away, review, regroup and then go back. 
Don't give anybody any arguments. Wow, and you might be out of balance, but if you review and reflect and regroup, then you'll be more in balance in, uh, when you do go and chat with that person that is disagreeing with you. Like I said, walk away. So don't be sneaky about it because you've got the seven of swords. Somebody is being sneaky or somebody is not being honest. So again, this week you've got nothing but uh, warnings, I think, up till now. This is midweek. So don't be sneaky about it, but walk away. Say, I'm sorry, I don't want to argue. Let me think about it, okay? And I'll get back to you. I understand your disagreement, but let me think about it and I'll see um, what I think about it. So come into your center. You need to heal. And why do I say that? Because you've got green, 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 green. And it's alerting me. The green is means to me money. Could be about money issues. Uh, he, uh, green is also healing. It's also, for me, uh, it, uh, green is the heart, the heart chakra. Open up your heart to understanding and emotions. Uh, try to find a, a, a positive solution to the issue at hand. Okay. Uh, green also means space. Perhaps somebody just needs space and you just, it could be your partner and you just want more attention and they can't give it at this moment. Why? Because they might need space or they have an issue with money and they need to work harder or they have too much work at hand. <clears throat> You've got 39 here, so that is a 12. 3 and 9 is 12. And 12 becomes a 3, so be creative. You can see here an emerald. It's beautiful. Go out. You can also see the sort of like woods in the back. Go out into nature and take some time out and rest. Like I said, reflect, regroup and come back once you're healed. Be creative. Green. Healing the heart chakra. It says heart healing. Okay. So don't be sneaky about it. But heal your heart. Heal your emotions. We've got the heart here as well. Wow. Now the argument could be with an air sign. Uh, doesn't have to be with an air sign, but because we've got nothing but swords, it could be a Gemini, a Libra, <coughs> Virgo, and it could also be an Aquarian. So Gemini, Libra or an Aquarian. They can be sharp-tongued, but they will tell you the truth. And um, perhaps they might be wrong, so you have to... Um, go back and evaluate and get the evidence because they also stand for justice. They want clarity. They want certainty in, in a relationship. They might be iced faced, like the, you've got the Page of Swords <coughs> here, but um, the Queen of Swords is also very stu um, sturdy. Right? She looks like icy, like the, this person here. And that's the page of um, swords. She's got blue eyes. And look at all the crystals. That just reminds you of the ice. So that's why the air signs are wrongly interpreted by readers. We are not icy. We are sharp tongued, but we do tell the truth. We do stand for the truth and clarity and honesty. But sometimes we are people as well, just human beings, we get it wrong. It might be, um, you know, it could be that that's the way we see the truth. It's not uh, law-breaking or criminal-wise, but, you know, um, that's the way we see the truth. Because we are very deep people, because we do think about things. 
and Libra takes a long time about it. And out of personal experience, I think from Gemini's, because I've got Gemini friends as well, we think a lot and we try to get solutions and we try to get a lot of options so that we are not stuck in the mud, so that we can always, we are also creative. So we, uh, we also think of other solutions so that we can carry on um, with the job or project at hand to get it finished, to get it completed. And two minds are better than one. So remember that. Two minds are, there's two people here, two minds are better than one. But you have to learn to communicate with each other. And Geminis are pretty good or air signs are good at communicating because they stand for the wisdom, thinking things through and also for getting clarity and cutting straight through to the business. So don't miss under, <coughs> don't misinterpret an air sign and don't, um, don't feel sad or offended when they tell you something. Nine times out of ten, um, it feels like they're cutting you, but it is, that is not it. They're telling you the truth because they love you. Sometimes you, um, this page will bring you news. This will give you clarity. This could be about an, uh, a study or about a job at hand, or this could be about a lawful situation, a judicial situation. Perhaps, Virgo, you um, need advice from a professional because you've had an argument with somebody and something is not clear because they were sneaky and they left something behind. They took something that belonged to, to you. So, of course, get clarity. And I think you're going to get clarity because you've gone away, you've been honest and open about it, and um, you've sought information. Like I said, we think a lot and we seek the information. We cut straight through to the core to get our, we've been the Sherlock Holmes this week, and it's up to you to prove otherwise. But I think, um, and that's why you need to be Sherlock Holmes. You need to be the air sign. <clears throat> now we've got letting go. You can let go. Time for release. And you've got number four. So this news will be, will be good news because it's built on a proper foundation. You can back it up. You can back up this news. So... You, if you do go back to this person that wants a discussion with you or an argument because you've got a disagreement, I think the truth will come out and you can back it up. That is the stability. That's the clarity. Okay. It might have taken you some time because we can see this looks like the fall. So it might have already started in October, uh, November or December, this argument or it's, in, 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 it's been festering. But now the uh, clarity will come, okay? And definitely, you've been, in the weekend, you uh, have the Two of Swords. You've closed your heart off, perhaps to this passion or this love situation. So throw those Two, two of Swords away and open your heart and your emotional chakra now. We're talking about the heart. Here you've got the heart. You've got the emotional color, yellow, and you've got pink, and that's the heart color. Uh, yellow is the uh, solar plex, and the red is earth. You're, you have earthed yourself. You, have, you're, you can stand your ground, okay? And you've got 25, so it is seven. Good luck is on your side, so I think you'll, you have found the clarity. You might have taken some time to think about things, make sure that you've got the right information and the proof to tell, show this person that you are right, Virgo. You've been a typical air sign. Perhaps you might have air in your chart, but I think you've done well. You've followed your heart and you're certain of, that you were right and you've got the proof.
Now you've also got passion, love for life. So perhaps this was with a partner and you didn't speak to each other for a while about this subject and you've healed your heart, you've got the information and it's been like if it's, um, yeah, well, I get the word festering and it's been festering but you've got the information like something has died, the leaves are falling but now you're, you've opened up your heart and it's spring again. Love is returning, the emotions, happiness, sweetness is returning. Okay, now to talk about, perhaps you have been in a judicial situation um, and you don't know the star sign, but you have done your work and it's going to pay off. Now we've got the king of swords here. King in this deck, the men are away, they, they are not on the cards but they're still there, okay? So it is the energy. Perhaps you are the king of, sorry, not the king of swords, the king of cups. Like I said, you opened your heart and you've opened your solar plex and you've grounded yourself. Sorry, it's a blue card and usually the king of cups is also depicted in this deck with blue. I'm just going to show you this if I can find it. Let me... <clears throat> so you've opened up your heart, you, you might have had a King of Cups helping you to find out the information, um, or you might have um, seeked professional advice um, from a King of Cups. Okay, now, let's have a look, still haven't got it. But I think these cards are so beautiful. <clears throat> Yasmin Westwood, um, she she is amazing. Okay, now we've got the King of Swords here. And this deck is fairly new to me. So that's why um, it, I don't know all the pictures yet. You know, it is like an adventure because they're so full of color and information and and they're all different you can see so much in these cards and this is the king of swords so you can see that that is light blue and the other one is heart blue and like i say the swords um a lot of people read them as icy and it is like steel is like white and cold so I think they're beautiful. But the sea is blue and emotions. You can see the sea around here. And the, the throne is actually standing in the sea. And you've got the fork of Neptune here. So with a quick glance, that's why you make a mistake. So my excuse for that. So you've got the King of Cups. So this argument could have been with the King of Cups or the, uh, the King of Cups could have helped you to resolve this because he stands for love, passion, nurturing, caring, um, beauty and sensuality and sexuality. So um, perhaps you've seeked advice from a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces or it could have been with an argument with a water sign. So open your heart, because they have, okay? They are gentle. They, I know the water signs are emotional, and I, I love the water signs. Um, and that one person, two people are actually, three people are actually my favorite people. And um, they can be grumpy and moody, um, because that's my experience, but they, they are so amicable that if you come back with evidence and with the right attitude, with the right in, uh, intonation and with an open heart and out of purity and love, they are open to discussion. Okay. Okay, so I hope you will settle your differences and go out there, heal your hearts 
um, forget the old, let go of the old. It is spring now and open your heart and love will return. But learn to communicate, especially if it is an air sign and with a water sign. It doesn't matter really what sign you are, but learn to communicate lovingly and nicely. Now for the last card, you have the brown feather oracle card. Okay, a practical approach is needed or required rather. And like I said, go back with the information, go back with the uh, evidence why you think that way step into the shoe in their shoes okay if it is an air sign or anybody else think about it be wise like an air sign be direct but don't cut because swords are very sharp so be careful you don't cut your fingers and don't cut the friendship be honest let it come from the heart and be clear so a practical approach is required. The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment, one step at a time. Now, the crystals that you can use, Virgo, is tiger's eye, petrified wood and bronzite. And Archangel Sandalphon is the angel of guarding the earth. And Uriel is the archangel. Uh, so um, Sandalphon is the guardian of earth. And archangel Uriel is archangel of the earth. And angel Ariel is the angel of nature. And um, angel Barakil is the grounding, the grounding angel. Now, um, so those are three stones that you can use. Um, like, I, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. But like I said um, about stones, your birthstone is, if you're born in September, because there's also Libras born in September. If you are born in September, then emerald is your birthstone. So to help you balance your emotions, and your fears and your stress get an, uh, an, an, uh, an emerald if you can afford it or perhaps you can get a little a piece of emerald in the health store or the stone store and um, there are shops that sell healing crystals then get an emerald you can also get cheaper versions but make sure that you get uh, the real thing um, it could be a pebble um, and put them in your handbag or in your bra or in your pocket or in your purse preferably something that uh, you carry on you so it connects with your vibrations and energy okay i hope you've enjoyed this reading so don't be bossy and don't let yourself be bossed around avoid arguments Go out there, get your information, evaluate the situation and then go back and let go and it will be all right. Clarity will come. Okie dokie. And thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll give the thumbs up and share it with family and friends. And I hope to see you in the live sessions and have a beautiful week. Take care Virgo. You're awesome.